I like the part where I'm alone with the plants. Because usually, um, before the people come in, it feels like, you know, you're just kind of gardening in your own house. And then you get to just like, you know, go around slowly, put the water here and then like spray a little here. So basically, the plants don't complain to me about my customer service skills. <laughs> there are no Karens in plant world. Mm -hmm. Right, do you have like a favorite plant in Hi, I'm Winnie. I'm 19 and I'm currently a student studying Landscape Design and Horticulture in Polytechnic. And I also work part-time at Atelier Day. I worked at Atelier Day because I was actually first looking for a gift. I saw they had this DIY terrarium thing. So I came in to make a DIY terrarium. And then after that, then I saw like the plant displays and stuff. Then I saw that they were hiring. So I just walked in. Then I asked the sales assistant, are they hiring? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. One thing was like, okay, you start next week. And I was like, oh, okay. Yes, nice. <laughs> I like the display a lot. I'm not sure if they can see, but when you walk into the shop, when you turn the corner, the first thing you will see will be like this gigantic plant display. So it's very like starking compared to every other thing around the shop, I guess. The display looks very nice because it looks very well balanced. It's very rare to see like plant shops do like an actual landscape display on their storefront. I like the part where I'm alone with the plants. Because usually, before the people come in, it feels like, you know, you're just kind of gardening in your own house. You know those old people who like to garden in the morning? <laughs> it's like that, but I'm not old. Maybe I am. Okay, anyways. Um, so, <laughs> I, I go around like watering the plants. It's actually very therapeutic. Like, in the morning especially, because you just woke up. You're not awake yet, so you're probably not ready to talk to people. And then you get to just like, you know, go around slowly, put the water here and then like spray a little here. There was this customer that came in with her boyfriend. Then I said, okay, so what plants are you looking for? Then they were like, oh, air plants. And I was like, oh, okay. Let them do that thing, look around, you know. Then they were like, um, hi, how do you know how to choose a good air plant? So I said, okay, the air plants just came today, so all of them are actually quite good. So you can just pick anyone, it doesn't matter to you. Then she's like, okay, but how do I know which one is good? And I said, you look for the ones without the brown leaves and all the ones here are good because they just came in today morning. <laughs> Then she said, what about this one? This one got like one date this. And I was like, ah, I'll show you something. Then I took the lid. I took the air plant, okay? Then I plucked off the bottom, okay? Then I gave it back to her. Then she got mad at me. And then I got a cu customer complaint. Fun. First thing in the morning, they were my first customers. Okay, so after the customers actually left, right? I picked up my phone and then one thing texted me with a screenshot of the email asking me, um, what's going on? So I told her what was going on. Ah. Then, she, then she said, Oh, uh, usually you need to give instructions. Like, you need to explain what you're doing to the plant as you're like manicuring it so that the customers won't get a shock. You usually want to know what's going on, then you have to explain it slowly. This girl came in, it was like peak hour. It's very near Christmas, like 20 or something December already. Like, you know, everyone was getting a last minute shopping in. So she asked me, um, these succulents are like going for a bit cheaper, like there's a sale. Then I said, yeah. And she's like, oh, okay. So can I get 50? <laughs> and I was like, oh, yes, you can get 50. <laughs> she was very nice about it. And she kept saying, oh, I'm so sorry to bother you, but thank you for this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, it's fine. This is my job. Wait, I can do that something. I'm so sorry about this. Like, oh my God, thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Oh my God. Um, and then she walked off. Then she, she came back. Hi, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Can I get another 10? And I was like, she wants another 10. <laughs> and I'm back to 10. And she kept apologizing. I didn't know why she was apologizing. <laughs> but she was very nice. I love her. I hope she comes back again. Uh, one thing taught me a lot about like terrarium making. Because I feel that all her terrariums are very unique. Every like few weeks, she'll bring in a terrarium but in a different vessel. And I think like customers like that also. So they will usually buy the ones that are more rarely found outside. Each piece is actually unique to it. Also, you won't find like the second terrarium that looks exactly like it because since like the terrariums here are not mass produced, so a lot of the customers come in and ask me like, oh, I've never seen this before. Yeah, because there's only one. <laughs> uh, especially during Christmas period, they sell really, really fast. Even if it's the same container, the design inside it will be different. So, if you really want that specific one, right, 
you have to get that specific one because I don't it's rare that we'll make the same one again. There's rarely any duplicates for the terrariums. The customers can usually choose like the theme that they want. So maybe they'll prefer like a more natural theme where there's like lesser figurines or maybe a more fairy tale theme. People actually prefer that because it feels like they get to make their own decor in their house. So they actually really enjoy the process of choosing out the figurines themselves and like the plants and like the look of the terrarium. Ponteen brings in very pretty and healthy looking plants. A lot of the time, the plant looks very fake because it's very healthy, so there's like no damage or anything. So they will try to like break the leaves and damage the plant even though we keep telling them it's real. You can ask the sales assistant instead of destroying the plants. They'll be very nice, thank you. I learned that usually you have to treat plants and humans differently. So for plants, you actually just need to like take care of them. They want something, they'll show it. So if it doesn't have enough water, it'll start wilting and all that kind of stuff. But if for humans, they probably won't start wilting, so um, that's not very helpful. You might have to look at them on a deeper level, on a more emotional level. You know, you have to be nicer to them, like with people. Now when I'm like pruning the plants or like taking care of plants in front of the customer, I make sure I always have the instruction manual. Because <laughs> when you buy plants from here, you'll come with like a care sheet, like a card that teaches you how to take care of it. So I'll explain it slowly to them so they actually learn how to take care of it. And then they'll actually like get something from me. Ah. So they won't come to me with a date for my help. I learned that since like different plants have different needs, different people will have different preferences. So when different people walk through the door, you can roughly gauge what they want from like the questions they ask you or like the things they tell you. Then you'll be like, oh, then you can recommend them the plants faster. So I learned how to um, communicate with people better and find them a plant that suits them. Because that is my job.